Hey guys, welcome to the channel once more. Uh, this is just like a short intro. The real video itself will start in a few uh, a few seconds. Uh, so, as you guys might remember, those who are subscribed to the channel, I bought the BMF 5.5-inch uh, lift kit for the Mahindra Roxor. I have a 2018 Mahindra Roxor, which you can see in the pictures. And I just have to say that that kit is fabulous. I am, I'm, I am beyond pleased. So shout out to the guys at BMF. They did a good job. R&D, everything worked out good. And uh, I'm very happy. I'm pleased with that. Also, I had to order a uh, brake caliper for the Roxor and uh, my dealer was awesome as usual. Valili Sport and Marine in Minot, they have two locations, Minot, North Dakota and Bismarck, North Dakota. Uh, they were right on top of everything and uh, with the delays with the virus, I know it might be a few weeks out, uh, but I'll get my parts finally. And I'm thankful for the guys over at Valili for um, taking care of me in that special way. So, yeah, here's the Roxor and uh, let's listen. Hello, guys. Welcome to the channel once more. And today I'm just going to do a quick video here to show the bmf rocks lift kit i just finished installing that on my 2018 mahindra roxor as you can see this thing is now just so huge it sits really tall very very tall it's it's actually difficult to explain uh, except you see it in person uh, especially that it has a cab yeah, this thing is way, way, way taller than I expected. Um, the lift difficulty level, I would say uh, to install it, the rear was... Uh, both sides have a, their little uh, tricks you have to employ to make it work. But being that this is the very first time I attempted something of this nature, uh, it was a steep learning curve, curve for me. But was able to pull it off and I'm very pleased with myself. Um, the kit itself was very well made. The instructions which I have here, you just follow it step by step and uh, you shouldn't have any issue. Um, the requirements, everything that they said you needed is exactly what I needed. Uh, just that some of my, um, my 5 8 drill that I needed you know, to tap into the um, that arm, it was a bit it was a bit uh, worn, so it took me a while. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the the explanations, everything, it's really straightforward. Very nice kit, well put together, and uh, it feels really solid. Um, what were the difficulties I had? Well, for the rear, like he explained. You just have to remember, you have to get that. That's where the shock used to be attached before. So you cut that out to make it be this way, like this. And then uh, right where you attach the shock, you cut off a piece of metal right there. You do the same for both sides. And uh, I think it would have been way easier for me if I had taken off the shock when I was doing the rear. He advised to take off the shock. I did the, I tried to leave the shock on the, the top part bolted on and it was it was in the way. Uh, the exhaust, this little portion here was also in the way when I tried to return the spring, put the leaf spring back in place. Note also the routing of the e-brake. Put it outside, not inside. Um, don't be afraid if you have to 
uh, move the brake line you know it's metal but just don't go crazy but you can move it around to make sure it fits nicely into those slots mm, let's see what else did i have so for the rear dab those were the main things uh when they say cut a little notch where the shock fits it's right there and you can see it on uh, the bmf rocks video that's a little notch and then you cut away where the uh, shock used to be attached up front so if you look right where you have the center of the spring that bolt right there at, this, at your very center of the screen uh, that bolt that goes all the way through and holds the springs together um, I had some difficulty on the passenger side because the bolt was too long and I didn't realize why my spring wasn't sitting level on the perch so it took me a while until I figured that out if you have your bolt that's very long then that might be a problem make sure you have it out of the way uh, brake lines I have not done yet I still have to bleed out the brakes uh, for the front what I did as you can see this rockstar sits very very high so um, I needed I used a couple of pallets sat them here and then I was able to use my floor jack and jack the vehicle put it on the jack stands right here just behind the uh, spring where the spring uh, is attached to the vehicle so knowing that the end result is gonna be your rock saw sitting so high uh, make sure you start out initially uh, with the rock saw lifted high enough brake lines were a bit tricky so there's a knot behind here there are two knots actually so that first one has to be free and then you hold the second one right there and then you can detach from out here uh, it took me about almost an hour to figure that out i was fighting with it but you start by taking that first one loose get it loose and then you hold on to that and then you can turn this or you hold on to this and you can turn that one um what other difficulty yeah drilling in here it was easy that was soft but the pitman arm i think that that is uh, stainless steel it took me a while to be able to drill through. Did it finally, but it took a while. So I just have everything in place. Um, my dealer ordered my brake caliper. I need a brake caliper for the passenger side. So I still have a few days out. Shipping is quite slow these days with, um, with the virus and the country, most of the country shut down. So it will be a few days before I get that. And then uh, once I get that installed, it, then I'll be able to bleed out the brakes, uh, take off the bumper, <laughs> this messed up one. And then uh, I'll be able to go for a proper test drive. When you do the install also, remember uh, BMF rocks. He says that the, the way the kit was designed was such that for each of these uh, joints, if you have just about four to five threads showing, then you should be in pretty good shape. Most of the things will balance out. So that's what I attempted to do. I didn't really succeed, but yeah, I, I didn't get it a hundred percent, but I can tell my alignment doesn't look too crazy. And it also matches with my, oops, with the steering wheel uh, angle right now so it's turning it's looking a little bit to the left and if i open up here you can see my steering wheel is turned just a tad a little bit to the left so i'm also happy about that piece of um, of uh, advice he gave <clears throat> get four or five threads to show and the kit will be well balanced um of course you don't finish a project like this without having some remnants <laughs> so i have the old brake lines and then i have the old drag link and everything and after i was done i looked and i found that i had this <laughs> i don't know where this is supposed to go 
I am at a loss. So I'll just be careful. I hope I didn't forget something. I've looked. Uh, I'll sleep over it tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe I might remember where it's supposed to go. But thank God I'm not going on the highway or anything crazy tonight. I'll just pack the rocks or and then uh, tomorrow I'll do a more thorough inspection and hopefully I'll be able to find out where this this is supposed to go uh, all in all it's a great kit thanks to BMF rocks for the quick shipping and uh, yeah if you are thinking about doing a lift and you are you are on a budget this is 5.5 inches for under a thousand dollars Okay, guys, see you on the next clip. And uh, I will also try to show. Um, I did, uh, I got a few videos of the install uh, for the rear and the front. So, over the next couple of days, I'll be uploading those videos. Let's jump in.